O my Lord Jesus Christ, prostrate in your divine presence, I implore your most loving heart to assist me as I meditate on the 24 hours of your most sorrowful passion. In your passion, your love drove you to suffer so much in your adorable body and in your most holy soul unto death on the cross. I implore your help, your grace, and your love to have profound compassion and a profound understanding of your sufferings as I meditate on this hour. I offer you my desire to meditate on all the hours, even on those I cannot observe. Please accept my desire to meditate on all the hours, even when I must sleep or tend to my other duties. O oh, merciful Lord, grant that my loving desire united to you may bring your holy blessings down upon us all. I give you thanks, O oh Jesus, for calling me into union with you by means of prayer. To glorify you, I unite myself with your thoughts with your tongue and with your heart and with these I intend to pray. I fuse myself in your will and in your love and extending my arms to embrace you I place my head upon your heart and begin. 2 p.m. hour, the third hour of the agony on the cross, where Jesus pronounces his fifth word, I thirst. O my Jesus, crucified in dying, as I cling to your cross, I feel the fire that sets ablaze your entire most sacred person. Your heart pounds so violently that it pushes out your ribs, causing you harrowing and heart-wrenching torments, whereby your most sacred humanity undergoes a transformation that renders you unrecognizable. The love that inflames your heart so completely parches and consumes you that you are no longer able to contain your love. You feel the intense torment not only of your bodily thirst, but of the shedding of all of your blood and even more your burning thirst for the salvation of our souls. Longing to absorb us within yourself as a sponge absorbs water and there keep us safe, you gather what little strength remains in you and cry out, I thirst. Oh, you repeat these words to every heart. I thirst for your will for your affections, for your desires, for your love. A water fresher and sweeter than your soul you could not offer me. Oh, please, do not let my love for you burn in vain. My thirst is so inflamed that I not only feel my tongue and my throat on fire to the point of no longer being able to utter a word but I feel my heart and my very being consumed. Have pity on my thirst, have pity. And as though delirious from his great thirst, Jesus abandoned himself to the will of his Father. Oh, my heart can no longer bear to see the wickedness of your enemies, who instead of giving you water, give you gall and vinegar and you do not refuse them. I understand it is the gall of our many sins and the vinegar of our untamed passions that give you, which instead of refreshing you, cause you to ignite with an even greater love. Oh my Jesus, I give you my heart, my thoughts and my affections. I give you my entire being to quench your thirst and refreshed, refresh your parched and embittered mouth. O oh my Jesus, all that I am and all that I possess, I give you. 
in my sufferings. If my sufferings can help save even one soul, here am I ready to endure everything. I give you my entire being to do with me as you see fit. I offer reparation for the sorrow you endure for all souls who are lost. I offer reparation for the sorrow you experience from those whom you allow to share in your sadness and abandonment in order to comfort the burning thirst that devours you, but who choose to give in to their own pleasures and make you suffer yet more. The sixth word of Jesus from the cross, it is finished. My dying love, the endless sea of your sorrow, the fire that consumes you, and most of all, the supreme will of the Father that decrees your death, no longer allow us to hope that your life may be spared. But, oh, how can I live without you? By now your strength has left you, your eyes are glazed, and your face, transformed, assumes a death-like pallor. With your mouth half open, your you labored, panting becomes continuous. Such that it removes all hope of you reviving. The fire that consumes you gives way to an icy chill and a cold sweat that covers your forehead. The intensity of the pain and the piercing of the nails force the muscles and nerves to contract more and more. As your nail wounds tear open more widely, I tremble and feel like I am about to die. I look at you, my good Jesus, and I see the last tears fall from your eyes. Announcing your imminent death by your tears, while you, though very able, utter one word, it is finished. O oh, my Jesus, you are completely consumed. There is nothing left in you. Love has reached its goal. But am I completely consumed for your love? What thanks I owe you, how grateful I should be to you. O oh, my Jesus, as you consume yourself for love of us on the cross, I wish to console you by offering you reparation for everyone's lack of response to your love, and for all offenses directed against your love. Jesus' seventh word and death on the cross. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. My crucified dying Jesus, you are now about to take the last breaths of your mortal life. Rigor mortis has already set into your most sacred humanity. And it seems that your heart has stopped beating. I cling to your feet with a Magdalene, and if I could, I would give my life to revive you. O oh, my Jesus, I now see that you move and open again your dying eyes. From the cross you look around, as if wanting to give your last goodbye to all. You look at your dying mother, who no longer moves or speaks on account of her great sorrows, and you say to her, Goodbye, dear mother, I am leaving, but I will keep you in my heart. Take care of our children. You look at weeping Magdalene and faithful John, and with your eyes you say to them, Goodbye. You gaze upon your own enemies with love, 
and with your eyes you say to them, I forgive you. I give you the kiss of peace. Nothing escapes your gaze. You bid farewell to everyone and you pardon everyone. Then gathering all of your strength and with a loud and thunderous voice you cry out, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit and bowing your head you breathe your last. And, O oh my Jesus, at this cry all nature is shaken and weeps over your death, the death of its creator. The earth trembles violently and with its trembling seems to cry out. It seems to want to shake souls and make them recognize you as their true God. The veil of the temple is torn. The, death, the dead rise and the sun which had wept over your suffering now with horror withdraws its light. At this cry your enemies fall to their knees and beating their breasts saying, Truly he is the Son of God and your mother paralyzed with grief and dying suffers sorrows more harrowing than death itself. My Jesus, you have died. With your cry you commend not only your spirit, but all of us into the hands of your Father, so that he may not reject us. Whence you cry out loudly, not only with your voice, but with all of your sorrows and with the voices of your blood, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. O oh, my Jesus, I too abandon myself to you. Grant me the grace to die completely in your love and in your will. I ask that you never permit me, either in life or death, to go out of your most holy will. In this moment of your death on the cross, I wish to offer reparation for all those who do not abandon themselves perfectly to your most holy will and therefore lose or diminish the precious fruits of your redemption. O oh my Jesus, what sorrow grips your heart in seeing so many souls flee from your arms, seeking to live only for themselves. Have Pity on us all, O oh Jesus, have pity on me. I kiss your head crowned with thorns, and I ask your forgiveness for my many thoughts of pride, ambition, and self-esteem. O oh Jesus, I promise you that every time a thought rises in me that is not entirely for you, and I find myself on the verge of offending you, I will immediately cry out, Jesus and Mary, into your hands I commend my spirit. O oh, Jesus, I kiss your beautiful eyes, still wet with tears and covered with dry blood, and I ask your forgiveness for all the times I have offended you with evil and immodest gazes. I promise you that every time my eyes are led to look at mundane things, I will immediately cry out, Jesus and Mary, into your hands I commend my spirit. O oh, my Jesus, I kiss your most sacred ears, deafened by insults and horrible blasphemies up to your very last moments. And I ask your forgiveness for all the times I have listened to or made others listen to conversations which distract us from you and for all the evil conversations of others. I promise you 
that every time I find myself on the verge of hearing indiscreet conversations, I will immediately cry out, Jesus and Mary, into your hands I commend my spirit. O oh, my Jesus, I kiss your most sacred face that is pale, bruised, and bleeding. And I ask your forgiveness for the many scorns, offenses, and insults you receive from our sins and the most vile acts of creatures. I promise you that every time I am tempted not to give you all the glory, love, and adoration you deserve, I will immediately cry out, Jesus and Mary, into your hands I commend my spirit. O oh, my Jesus, I kiss your most sacred mouth, dry and embittered. I ask your forgiveness for all the times I have offended you with evil conversations or words. For all the times I have contributed to your grief and increased your thirst, I promise you that whenever the thought comes to me of saying things that might offend you, I will immediately cry out, Jesus and Mary, into your hands I commend my spirit. O oh, my Jesus, I kiss your most sacred neck, and I still see that. There are the marks of the chains and ropes that have oppressed you. I ask your forgiveness for the many bonds and attachments of souls which form the ropes and chains around your most sacred neck. I promise you that every time I feel disturbed by inordinate attachments, desires and affections, I will immediately cry out, Jesus and Mary, into your hands I commend my spirit. O oh, my Jesus, I kiss your most sacred shoulders and I ask your forgiveness for the many illicit pleasures and for the many sins committed with the five senses of our body. I promise you that every time I am on the verge of taking some pleasure or satisfaction that is not for your glory, I will immediately cry out, Jesus and Mary, into your hands I commend my spirit. O oh, my Jesus, I kiss your most sacred chest. I ask forgiveness for all the insipidness, indifference, lukewarmness, and horrendous ingratitude you receive from souls. I promise you that whenever my love for you grows cold, I will immediately cry out, Jesus and Mary, into your hands I commend my spirit. O oh, my Jesus, I kiss your most sacred hands. I ask your forgiveness for all the evil and vain works and for the many acts made every time the thought comes to me of not operating solely for your love. I ask forgiveness for the many acts made by evil and self-interest and self-esteem. Wherefore I immediately cry out, Jesus and Mary, into your hands I commend my spirit. O oh, my Jesus, I kiss your most sacred feet. I ask your forgiveness for the many steps and paths taken without an upright intention and for the many souls who walk away from you to seek earthly pleasures. I promise you that whenever the thought comes to me of walking away from you, I will immediately cry out, Jesus and Mary, 
into your hands, I commend my spirit. O Jesus, I kiss your most sacred heart, and I intend to enclose within it, along with my soul, all the souls you have redeemed, so that all may be saved and no one excluded. O Jesus, enclose me and lock me up within your heart, so that I may behold no one but you. And I promise you that whenever the thought comes to me of wanting to go out of your heart, I will immediately cry out, Jesus and Mary, into your hands I commend my spirit.